Arsenokoitai. That's right, you got it. Say it with me one more time. Arsenokoitai. So the Bible and its views on homosexuality or same-sex sin is very clear. Although an opposing argument that we get is that the translation from the original text that we have now is incorrect or it's a poor translation. What we have now is homosexuality, but for those like ex Oxford and you know other people say that the translation is supposed to mean young boy or male child, men sleeping with young boys, because that is kind of the context of the nature of the culture of what was going on in Greek and Roman. In a sense, what they're saying is true as far as homosexuality being a poor translation of the text, but young boy and male child is also not the correct translation. So male child is not the correct translation and it's also a bad translation. That translation comes from German, Swedish, and Norwegian translations. The correct translations we should be looking at should be the Hebrew and the Greek translations. When we look at 1 Corinthians 6, 9, Apostle Paul is utilizing the Hebrew word arsenokoitai as a compound word that he coined, deriving from two words. Arsen, meaning male, not young man, <laughs> adult man. And then the other one, koitai, or koitis, means bed or lying with, and it's in a sexual context. So putting those together, the best and accurate translation is a man who sleeps with a man. These two words have been in the Bible before in the Old Testament when we look at Leviticus, um, specifically Leviticus 18.22 and Leviticus 20 and 13. And so Paul is affirming the Old Testament. And so that's where we have arson and koitai, which is arson and koitai together. So the latest English versions uses homosexual in the Bible which isn't a good transla translation, but Paul, through the Holy Spirit and the other authors of the Bible, still writes that men lying with men and women lying with women is a sin. So going back to the male child argument and the culture of what was going on in the Greek Roman era, I want to read what Tim Barnett says. So male child is referring to the culture where it says, Heterosexual men were married to women who kept slave boys in the house as sex objects. This behavior was happening in Paul's day in the Greek Roman world, but Paul knew about mutual non-exploitative same-sex relationships. How do we know? In Romans 1, in addition to describing lesbianism, which wasn't exploitative, Paul describes homosexuality as men burning in their passion for one another. Clearly, this isn't describing or sex slavery. Okay, and then also looking at a lot of resources, all of them pointed to this one article by David Wright, Homosexuals or Prostitutes, the Meaning of Arsenokoitai. And I actually printed it out. <laughs> I feel like I was like back in school at the library because like I couldn't find where this thing was. This is really, really great. It has a lot of sources, a lot of information, a lot of research and studying that David Wright took to to really dissect all of these pieces. And this was written a very long time ago, um, before I was born, probably before you were born as well. So if someone is like, it's incorrect, the translation is wrong, you tell them, did you look up the Hebrew and Greek translation? Arsenokoitai, do you know that word? Look it up. All right, peace.